Hello and welcome back to another Farming Simulator Giants Editor tutorial and today I'm going to have a look at the Mixed Feeder mod. This barn in front of you here, um, it's basically a automatic mixed feeder which you put in your silage, straw and grass and then it, through an automatic dispenser, goes around on these rails and puts your TMR or total mixed rations into the appropriate trough. So I'm going to be looking at how I go about putting this into a different map. Um, I'm going to try and put it in as a buyable object so that you have to purchase it within game before you can actually use it. So yeah, we'll just close this down now because I don't need this open. Just wanted to show you straight off what it is we're going to be working with. So I'm going to close that, don't need to make any changes there or save any changes. So I've got a few folders here on my um, desktop here. Um, this is the mix feeder sample mod map version 2. I will try and put some links in the description for you where you can get them from uh, or where you can download this from and you can have a play around with this map, put it in your mod folder, have a play around with it so you can get used to it if you haven't used it before if you wish to do so before you attempt to put it into a different map. Um, I've also got my map which is American Farms we're going to be playing around with. I've also exported a couple of different things from the sample mod map um, which I will be adding in to make it all work. I've also got a folder here which has got the actual mods that you will need to put into your mod folder for Farming Simulator for all this to work. Your map buyable object mod which will allow you to buy the object in game and the mix feeder mod which joins up to the actual mod that you'll be putting into the, the actual uh, map that you're going to edit or if you're creating your own map then these two will basically join together to make it all work. But you will need to put both of these into your mod folder for it to actually do that. Okay, so I've already got my American Farms um, map open here. Um, and I've removed the standard setup already just to save a little bit of time. Just basically there was a barn here or shed which had the triggers and everything else and the troughs set up but they will obviously cause a conflict with what I'm going to be importing so I needed to remove those first. I have left a couple of things behind the actual straw plane and the straw tip trigger because I will require that so that I can actually tip straw into into the actual um, mix feeder mod setup to give me what I need. So okay, uh, we'll just jump straight in I guess. Um, so what I will do first of all, I'm going to just tidy this up a little bit and then I'm just going to go to file and then import go into my mix feeder map sample mod map 2 and then I need to copy this mix feeder folder which has all the appropriate information in and most importantly the i3ds so I'm just going to copy that with control C and then I'm going to go into the American farms map here and put it into the appropriate place. This is very important with a lot of mods that I've installed you can basically put them pretty much wherever you want as long as it's somewhere within the map i3d or any subfolder after that but in this particular case it has to go in this folder in your map folder irregardless of what that is called. It may be called something else but it needs to go in here because the zip mod that you put into your mod folder will specifically be, be looking in here. So if this is called something other than map, you may need to rename it because the mod will be looking specifically for um, that map folder for it to work properly. So I'm just going to paste that in with control V like so. And we'll refresh so that it puts it in the correct place. And then what I will do is go into that folder and then I need to go into the i3ds and the one I want to actually import is the mix feeder buyable i3d so if I double click that it will then bring it into the map for me and then if I go control B or edit and interactive placement and bring it over and there you go you can see all you you've got all you require to put on the map to make it all work or at least the starting point of it anyway so I'm just going to rotate this around uh, to a position that I'm comfortable with, like so. 
what I want to try and do is get it so that it works with this draw plane that I've left on the map so I don't have to play around adjusting that so much I can move the building much easier than I can the straw planes so I'm going to just lower this down a little bit somewhere around about there I think obviously when you do this you will be you'll need to adjust it appropriately for the map that you're going to be putting it onto and just get it somewhere where you're comfortable with at least to start with and then you can move it around later on as required okay I think that looks pretty good to start with at least yeah I'm comfortable with that that looks pretty good now my hope is that I can put this in to a into this map uh, without actually screwing up my game save because I want to just continue with the game save that I've already got um, which is why I'm not going to edit the grass textures here coming up through part of the mod if you were if that really bothered you um, then you would need to obviously delete those but by deleting them you would need to start a new game save because the changes would not take effect in an old game save pretty standard sort of stuff really okay so now that I've got that into there like so and I'm pretty happy with the placement of it, it all looks pretty good I need to add a couple of other things and move some stuff around now as I showed you before somewhere over here I have got a straw tip trigger just there like so so I need to move that into the appropriate place so that it works properly okay that's perfectly fine there so the next thing I want to bring in is a manure pit um, and again this is something that I actually exported from the sample mod map that comes with the mix feeder set up on where I'm going to be taking all this stuff from so just tidy that up a bit so I can see everything there we go okay so what I need to do now is bring that into the American farms map so if I go back into my map folder here actually I may already op have it open got it open loads of times there we go so now what I need to do is bring in my cow manure heap and bring it into the American Farms map so I'm going to just copy that leaving it behind just in case I make any messes up or anything like that screw ups then I have that there in a the backup this isn't quite so important you can put this pretty much wherever you want so I'm just going to go into uh, this one I do new models and I'll put that in there like so and then I can go back into my i3 uh, my giant editor session here and again go file and import and then into new models into the cow manure heap and double click on the i3d to bring it into the map now this is very important this part if you leave it at the bottom of the cinegraph here you may find that it will cause issues simply because of the cow husbandry setup and how that works to display all the bits and pieces that you need if I actually click on the cow husbandry transform group here in your user attributes window which you can bring up by going into window on your taskbar and then clicking on user attributes if it's not already there you can see in here that you have various triggers and bits and pieces and how they all align and you will see at the top here you have your liquid manure trigger index and your manure heap index and this number two here symbolizes your index path over here so what you need to do is get your manure heap that you've just imported if you're doing it the same way as I am you need to get that into the right setup and if I click on the cow manure heap you will see that that is actually index path set at 65 which will be incorrect because it will not match up to what you have for your cow husbandry trigger so what you need to do there is highlight it in the cinegraph and then control X to cut it and go back to your cow husbandry transform group and basically paste it in with control V 
So now that I've got that into that transform group, you can see that it's actually changed in the index path over here, but it's now showing as seven, which is still incorrect. So what I need to do is right click on it and go move up. And I need to continue to do that until I have it in the right place. Now I know, I know that liquid manure tank is, is set up at two at the moment, but by moving this into the right place, it will then, and saving it, it will adapt it and change it to what I need. So I need to go move up one more time there, and then go save, and this will then overwrite that. It will change it to the appropriate setup, as you can actually see it's already done anyway for me. So now the cow manure heap is index, it's the number at the end you're looking at there, which is two, and my liquid manure tank is set at three, and if we compare that to the cow husbandry transform group, you can see that that is now correct. So you need to do that for it to work properly. If you don't do that, you may find that the uh, manure and the liquid manure and everything else will not show up correctly in the right place. Okay, so now I can highlight my cow manure heap again and either control B or edit interactive placement and bring it over somewhere where I would like to put it. Now I'm just gonna rotate this around in appropriate place and set it up somewhere where I think it would look pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to manipulate this around with the gizmo here. Like so. Just come back just a little bit more. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I think that looks looks okay so that's fine I'm gonna go with that for now okay so the next thing I need to do is bring in another trigger and some bits and pieces um, a plane like you've got your straw plane here I need to bring in a plane that shows up the TMR in the right place when it actually dispenses from the mix feeder here so to do that I'm going to go into file import and then in my main map folder here I've exported a um, feeding trough cow shed left and this has a i3d and all the bits and pieces but I need to then add that into my into the American farms map so I'm just going to go control C to copy that and then I'm just going to put that in the new models folder as well with control V like so now that I have that in there I'm going to open that folder up and double click on the i3d to bring it into the map now the next part you need to actually then structure this because like the cow manure heap that we put in earlier on it has a specific setup um, on how it all sort of works and blends in with the triggers and everything else so what I need to do with it highlighted in the cinegraph here I need to go control X and then I need to go back up to my cow husbandry here and click on tip triggers transform group and paste it into there like so then what I need to do is adjust this somewhat because if I actually look in my field types here and I scroll across, you can see that it has forage mix in, but it doesn't have forage. And in game, TMR is known as forage. So I need to add that in here. So I'm just going to put that in there like so. And then tab across to accept the change. Okay, so now that I've done that, with it selected again in the Cinegraph here, I'm just going to go to Edit, and you could do this with Control b but I'm going to use this Interactive Placement and bring it over like so. Now I need to adjust this and change the orientation so that it matches where I wish to place it down in the map. So I'm just going to change this somewhat. Let's see which way I need to go. Not that way. There we go. So now I just need to align that to the actual troughs for the mix feeder mod itself. Like so, I think that looks pretty good. And I'll just lower that down. There we go. Now the trigger that I've, this, this, this what I've actually imported, um, as I say, has been exported from the sample mod map, 
and I'm using this one specifically because it has been set up to work with the automatic mix feeder uh, because there is a trigger there a trigger is set up as a collision um, if you use something different that hasn't been set up correctly the dispenser will actually see the trigger as an obstacle and then cause an error and stop working so I'd highly recommend that you do this in a similar manner if you want it to work properly okay so now that I've got that set up like that what I need to do is adjust the plane so that it comes up correctly to the right height so that I can visually see the actual TMR in the troughs here and the way that I need to do that is look over in my user attributes here and you have the move max y and move min y and if I then come down to my open up my my block here with the feeding trough cow shed left and you will see this block here called planes and if I click on that you will see in the translate y it starts at zero which actually corresponds to this move min y and I want to double check that the move max y at 0.25 is acceptable to show me what I want to see so if I go back to the planes block here and in translate y I type in 0.25 you can see that it doesn't come up quite as high as I would like it to. So what I'm going to do is adjust that number to 0.5 and I think that looks much better. It gives me what I want to see in game. So resetting that back to zero, I'm then going to go back to the main block and adjust the move max Y to 0.5 like so and tab across to accept the change. This then hopefully will give me the correct height for that silage uh, sorry tmr plane in game okay so now i'm just going to basically save and move on okay so next thing i want to do and again this is, will be um, personal preference how you want to set it up as always but <clears throat> for me i'm going to close this left door here as i'm looking at the actual barn here because the way that I've put this into the map you could have it that um, even though we know this is only a game and everything else but you know thinking about it in somewhat of a realistic sort of manner the cows could quite happily walk through there and then come straight out through the top here but on this particular side I have a fence set up with, which would restrict their movement so I'm going to leave that door open on the right hand side but this one on the left here, I'm going to close that. And I need to do that in Giants Editor because these doors have not been set up with any kind of triggers. So in game, you would have no functionality uh, or no control over their functionality whatsoever. So luckily, the creator has actually modeled these separately to the main body of the mod. Um, so I'm able to do that, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to come inside here so I can see it a little bit better and get it lined up how I want it to be without covering up my beacon too much okay so now that I've done that that's perfectly fine happy with that everything else looks pretty good here so that's fine also okay so the next thing I need to do is change my navigation mesh for the cows because this barn is um, slightly different in size orientation and various other things so if I was to leave the, the cow navigation mesh as it was before you may find that you'll have cows walking through walls or the physics may freak out and all sorts of manner of things so what I need to do now is adjust the cow navigation mesh to suit the new setup and the way that I do that is to tidy that up a little bit there we go um, is to right click on the screen here and then go to show and go down to navigation meshes and if I click on that you'll see that there's a blue sort of um, covering come up onto the onto the um, map here and you can see there that it shows the navigation mesh going through the wall there which is of no use to me whatsoever so I need to adjust that appropriately so that it all works properly so the way I do that is going to the terrain info layer paint mode here and what I'm going to do is go to window and then bring up my terrain editing window and change over to the square brush this will be 
personal preference which brush you which brush you want to use but I'm going to use the square one in this particular case so the way that I do it because of the way that the navigation mesh is displayed on screen and I can't see exactly where everything is because of the blue and the white and all the rest of it is somewhat masked I'm going to remove certain sections and then recreate my navigation mesh so that it clears that area so I can then see somewhat clearer what I need to then paint back down onto the ground so with my right mouse button I'm just going to click and drag to remove parts of the navigation mesh like so now to be fair you could actually do this before you put the um, mod into place the barn you could remove the navigation mesh in its entirety and then recreate it again but for me I think this is a, a slightly better way of doing it because I can see exactly how much I need to remove um, no no real need to um, have to do more than I want to be able you know I don't want to have to do more than I need to sort of thing so by doing it this way I can limit how much I need to remove and then put back down again so just going to have a play around with here because I had to move the milk robot because it was actually inside the uh, barn itself um, so I put it outside here and move some triggers around so I'm just going to come over here and remove certain areas there as well like so okay I think what I will do is actually just tidy this up a little bit as well in the corner here like that don't want them getting stuck against the uh, cow manure pit there okay so now that I've done that I can go up to my cinegraph here and this is very important that you do this part because at the moment I haven't got any navigation meshes selected in the cinegraph so if I was to recreate or whatever um, the navigation mesh without its being selected in the navigate into the in the cinegraph here all it would do is create a new navigation mesh and place it at the bottom of the cinegraph and no changes would be made to the navigation mesh that I've just edited so it's very important that you actually select the appropriate navigation mesh that you are editing in your cinegraph here okay so now with that selected in the cinegraph I go into create navigation meshes and I will have this new window pop up now the only thing I need to change here really is the radius and for cows that is set to 1.2 depending on what animal you're working with you you may need to you change the culling info layer channels for cows it is zero and it shows a one if I click on this box here to the right because it's hexadecimal in the bit mask but what you're actually looking for here is the cull layer channels and as long as you have zero selected there which again is for cows then everything else will be perfectly fine so with with my radius changed and my culling info layer channels selected correctly I go recreate and you can now see that it has removed that those areas that I edited and gives me a much better view of what I need to now paint back down onto the ground to make it all work properly again this is the way I do it you may find that um, you have your own way of doing it and that's perfectly acceptable whatever you feel works for you is good okay so now with my train info layer paint mode selected again I'm going to just paint down a new navigation mesh well not necessarily a new one just editing the area um, that I want to make changes to okay you may need to do this a couple of times um, it just depends really sometimes this will work first time um, if you're really really lucky and other times you may need to do this a couple of times to get it to work properly 
unfortunately you won't know if you've got it right until you actually get it in game and then check what your cows are actually doing in game you may or whatever animal it is you're working with uh, you may find that they get stuck against walls or freak out and do all sorts of manner of things but like I say you won't know that until you get it in game and try it for the first time and then you may need to obviously come back into Giant Senator and have another play around with it okay I think that looks pretty good it'll do for now and then I can always edit it later on if I think I need to okay so again what we do is go into our create before we do that we just double check that we've selected the appropriate navigation mesh within the cinegraph here and I go to create navigation meshes because I'm still working with cows I don't need to make any changes and it's it's saved the uh, or hasn't um, changed anything here hasn't reverted back to defaults so it's kept what I changed it to last time and all I do is just click on recreate again if I click on for this you can now see that it's put in the new navigation mesh of where the cows will basically walk around in game so I think that looks pretty good actually we'll go with it for now and like I say may need to come back in and make some appropriate changes but for now it looks pretty good so I'm going to click off of that and then go right click on my screen here go back to show and unclick navigation meshes to get rid of it okay so now that we've got all of that I'm going to save again okay so now that I've saved that um, basically what I'm going to do now is just tidy this up slightly so it all meshes in with the map and uh, looks appropriate so I'm just going to click on this fence panel here <clears throat> Control D to make a copy and bring it across and again and then I'm just going to rotate it slightly like so I want to get the angle somewhat right there so it joins up properly Control D again to make another copy and bring it across so it joins into the barn there that's okay for now I can adjust it later if I need to but that's perfectly fine I'm happy with that okay so now what I'm going to do is close down the Giants editor session and make a couple of changes to the mod desk just add a few lines of text so that I get the correct information displayed on screen in game okay so here we are in notepad plus plus and you can see just here I have some lines of text which is for the mix feeder mod and I'm just going to basically select all of it I won't need all of that information but I'm doing that because I want the actual breakers the end text here and the start text here and then I will adjust it appropriately once I get it into the American Farms mod desk so I'm just going to highlight that Control C to copy it go into the American Farms mod desk find an appropriate place here to put it in create a couple of new lines Control V to paste it in these are the lines of text here that I do not require so I'm just going to highlight those and delete them and then just tidy the text up slightly and then click save okay so here we are in game and as you can see the mix feeder mod has installed correctly onto the map I am actually using an older game save uh, so I have 54 cows already and you can see I have manure showing up correctly in the bunker there so that's brilliant so far the nav mesh seems to be working okay the cows are going exactly where I expect them to so that's also great so what I'll do here first of all is just preview the actual mod so if I walk up to the trigger here I get the text box show up and you can see at the bottom there it says preview this object with key B or to purchase key C so if I press B you can see here it shows up 
and it will stay there for a few seconds to give you an idea of what it all looks like and everything and then it will disappear like so if I come out here I just want to show you something quickly I actually added this post in here um, it does actually need to be adjusted slightly because it's not into the ground I don't think but that's fine it's just to test it out because if I show you again actually what I will do is just purchase the um, mod with key C you can see you have a camera come up outside here which was just floating in midair which I didn't think looked very good so I added a post in here and all I did basically was copy one of the telegraph poles over there and then rescale it but it looks like I do need to put it down a bit further into the ground because it is floating above the ground I think yeah looks like it anyway but that's fine I can adjust that later on or importantly does this thing actually work okay so because this is an old game save and I have actually fed my cows various different things in the past it has filled the bunkers up for some reason not quite sure why that is but it has and that's that's fine if you were starting a game save from fresh then I would imagine these would be empty I'd like to think so anyway um, but that's okay it's fine I'm going to just double check that the triggers do actually work so I'm just going to jump in one of the tractors here this one has grass so I'm just going to start this tractor up here and we will then drive it around to the grass trigger and just double check that that works okay and it does so that's great I don't need to put any more in so I'm just testing to make sure it all works so we'll jump out there go and grab one of the other ones here and this one is straw so we'll test that trigger out yep that one's working as well so that's brilliant so we'll stop that and move this one out of the way ok so I'll just jump in the tractor here with silage I'll just check that that one works as well no reason why it shouldn't but worth checking it anyway and it does or is it might not be in the right place yeah so that's fine so they're all working okay so that's great so we'll just move this one over out of the way as well that'll be fine We'll just switch this tractor off here there we go okay so now I'm going to actually activate the mix feeder and hopefully all will work okay I can do this a couple of different ways if you've not used this mod before the actual dispenser here if you walk up to the back of it you automatically get your um, tablet pop up and it has all the different menus inside whatever else press the home button there to get back to where you were press this one over here to get to the bunker fill levels click this one and you can then cycle through and your spy cam and it will show you all the bits and pieces in there and you can come over to the spy cam and then change your cameras by clicking up in the top here like so the other way to do this is to actually if you were across the other side of the map for example and you wanted to see how the mix feeder was operating left control M and F on your keyboard will bring up the actual tablet anywhere on the map and you can then cycle through all the bits and pieces exactly the same way as you would if you were in the barn itself okay so I'm just now going to start this up uh, one thing when you do actually bring up the tablet with control M and F obviously F is allocated to your flashlight so it will activate your flashlight so just be aware of that not a big thing but okay so I'm just now going to bring this up and I'm going to activate it manually obviously you've got your set times here um, and you can adjust how many you have per day here uh, maximum is three 
and you can then change that and click the tick to accept the change. So I've got those set up appropriately there with my rations and everything else. You need to play around with that to get it to work for you. But I'm just going to click the tick here to start this up manually now. And you can see that the beacon is lit up and it started to fire up. So when I close the tablet, it will then start to work. So we'll just watch that. And you can see that it's actually filling up the dispenser with the appropriate um, grass, straw and silage. And then we'll just run round on the rail until it gets to the triggers for the troughs. Oh, it's actually going to come back. I forgot this part. It actually comes back and hits the motor here and then spins up and obviously mixes it all up to create the TMR. And then it will go off and do its thing and dispense it into the trough. And if I've set the triggers up OK and all the rest of it, I will see a change in my animal information here in the PDA. So if I bring that up and cycle around to the cows, as you can see, I've got 54 cows there. Productivity is only 20% because they're only uh, being fed through water and straw at the moment. But hopefully once the uh, dispenser comes round to the trough there and gives me my TMR, that will increase. We shall see. Okay, so we're almost there now. There we go. And you can see there that my TMR or mixed rations is increasing in the PDA. So, must have done something right. Okay, so that's... That's great, all working, no errors and whatever else. So I'm really pleased with that. Cows are all doing their thing, so the navigation mesh is working properly, so that's great. Even walking through the milk robot here, so that's also brilliant. And now that's now completed and we'll cycle back round and come back to the stopping point. So yeah, all working really, really well. Need to make a few adjustments here to the post over there that I put in and uh, a couple of other things, but nothing that would um, cause any errors or issues. Clearly you can see that it all does work. I will just show you that if I actually stand in the way of it when it comes back round. If you do put an object in its way, it will stop and then up in the um, mini tablet there on the right hand side, it will show you that there is an obstacle in the way which needs to be removed. As you can see there, interruption. Something blocks the lane of the feeder, please remove it from the lane. So I move out of the way and it continues. So that's fantastic. All successfully implemented into the map, set up and working as intended. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that this helps you and I'll catch you on the next one.